feel the need to kill things that we don't understand. So I'd like to read the Ballad of Hogzilla. Uh, this is the first time I've read this, um, so it's a kind of a premiere. Part one is what I'm reading today. Killer of kid and fawn, muddy wallower, vector for trichinosis and tick, trap smart, non-native, gargantuan flea bag, you root in the understory and oak brush of Alapaha's bogs and swamp. If we killed you now, Hogzilla, if we took aim for your belly with our crossbow or laser sight and pulled a trigger or let a tipped arrow rip through the night air, there wouldn't be a story to tell. So while we lay and wait for you to appear, chewing our chaw and chewing the fat, lit up on beer, lit up on the last of the evening light. We'll harness you in speech, lasso you with language, and make you bleat like the common pig you were before all this celebrity. In dreams, you're bigger than we will ever be, so you must be made to suffer for your mystery. The origin of Hogzilla. Are you spawn of DeSoto's men, herded off galleons, old world swine, long snouted? Do your upper tusk sharpen the lower? Or did you escape from a defunct abattoir, son of a sow injected with gonadotropin, a hybrid, white blaze of hair across your face, black tufts and telltale tail? Did your thousand pound carcass weigh less after the soul's exit, filtering out of your brilliant nostrils, uncontained as a new myth? Oh, your detrimental wallowing, solitary except for one season, your domestic ken, it's so unferal for them. Your untoward piglets three times a year, grouped in sounders, oh, careless love that's ugly and stinky and don't look smart. The Ghost of Hogzilla. In the middle month of the year of the boar, the ghost of Hogzilla roams, killed because he was gargantuan. Why was, must we shoot what we don't understand? Remember the lion blinded by the shelling of the Baghdad Zoo, Uday's menagerie set free to wander Hogzilla was also liberated by death. His spirit tramples through the strip malls of my hometown, orders a smoothie after pawing through the draw cleaning, or nosing the aisles of baby food, watching us humans enact all the sad and lonely errands of our lives. Among the plastic singing trout, the caged parakeets, sometimes the tricked out twin poodles yapping in a locked Mercedes. All the ghost of Hogzilla wanted was a stand of trees, some bark to rub against, a scattering of acorns. But acorns only fall from oaks, and we cut those down already. Hogzilla's murderer speaks. I summoned you from the swamp and holler as you hunted bulbs and tubers, a red-cheeked salamander in your stomach. When I saw you, I loaded up my rifle with buckshot and took aim. You were the biggest, most beautiful hog I'd ever seen, and that's why I had to make you die, to prove your majesty, to convince my friends of my heroism. I hadn't done much in life yet. Cleaning up beer cans after the hunters left, the deer lease wasn't much to brag about. But as I told that lady from the New York Times, after offering her some Fanta, which she refused, the whole country will eat humble pie after those scientists dig up the carcass of Hogzilla and see the greatness of exactly what I done. <laughs>